Morning, morning. <laughs> uh, well, we're uh, we're off again um, to add more complication to my life because a bike became available and it seems too good to be true. So we're going to go and look at it, aren't we? <laughs> so we're going to go and look at it and uh, it has been crashed, but from what I understand, it's not that bad. Now, some people say things aren't that bad and they're absolutely smashed in half. Other people say things are the worst thing in the world and it's like a stone chip on a wheel arch. So, uh, not that most bikes have wheel arches. Do they have wheel arches? Cars do, anyway. Uh, so we're gonna go off to Vines BMW, which is where the bike is now, and we're gonna go and check it out. So, let's go and check it out, yeah? High five. What, are you hoping for a good one or a bad one? We need more Nesquik cereal. Okay. Right, we're here. We've just stopped uh, Vines Motorrad in Guildford. Um, Charlie's checking out the M cars. Hi. Quite happy with one of them. You were? The purple one looks really good, actually. Anyway, let's go in. And um, I've, I've already um, uh, got pre-approval to go straight through to the workshop and check out the new steed. Ladies, Hello. all right? So uh, off we go. It's oh, we're a bit dark in here, let's get the, uh... here we go. Straight into the workshop and there is the bike. Right, let's flip this around. Right, here we go then. There she is, this is it. I know, <laughs> you're probably like, is it crashed? Because um, it actually looks in really good condition. Um, yeah, we've got yeah. So basically, this this was a this is a, a two thousand mile bike, and it's a twenty twenty three bike, and the guy crashed it at, at Donington, I believe, um, and it just dropped on its side and went into the gravel. So the right hand side, all these fairing, all these panels are going to need to be replaced. But there's n there's yeah, no yeah, the other side's alright. But there's no structural damage. This has been through the technicians. The wheels are okay. I mean, it's one of those things where you can see these tiny little uh, like knocks in the lacquer. Structurally, that's absolutely fine. And to be honest, I could probably sit there and polish those out. But from an insurance perspective, this whole wheel's got to be replaced, which is two and a half grand or something. So it became uneconomical to repair. Although, this is not an insurance write-off, which is great for me. Um, I just think the, the customer has just gonna take it on the chin, which is pretty admirable of him. Uh, but yeah, so standard exhaust is all rubbed down. I've actually lent my, I used to have one of these, the previous model, and I gave my exhaust to Jimmy Fetter. So I'll go around his house and get that back. These rear sets, again, perfectly functional. Oh, it, it's worth mentioning, he rode it back from the track day as well. So it's mechanically absolutely fine. Um, these rear sets need some parts, but I've never liked these blue ones, so I'm going to get the latest Gillies ones. Black. Yeah, they're all black. And again, a lot of this is just, I could probably just blend this in. Am I going to tell you how much I paid for it? Not yet, but it was... Cheap. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a, I could not say no to it. And actually, what I'd quite like to do with it is just get it running and just use the hell out of it. Just use it. It's only got 2,000 miles, it's still going to be under warranty. From, from BMW. Yeah, and the other side's absolutely mint, it's normal. So, yeah, that's the bike. I've got the key in my pocket. Should we try and turn it on? It might be dead battery, I don't know. All modern bikes seem to run out of batteries super quickly these days. Okay, well the dash works. And again, there's no, this dash seems undamaged, which is good, because that's an expensive part. Should we turn it on quickly? Jack, we're right to turn this on? Yep, yeah. yeah. okay. So, I mean, I couldn't say no to it. So anyway, look, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get it, oh! Do you like the uh, extra lights that the, uh, the customer put on there? I mean, each to their own, Take but I think, they're pr I think I'm probably gonna Take off. remove those. I agree with you. Thank you, mate. Yeah. So look, let's get this in the van. I'm gonna take it back down to the man cave, strip it down, give it a good clean, and then hopefully, um, 
we should be looking even better than we are now. So, see you in a bit. Cheers, bye. Right, we're all loaded up. There she is in the back. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, the fact that it's covered in dirt. Yeah, but I like the fact that it's covered in dirt because then now I get to go and clean it and make it look even better. So, Yay. Um, fun. I've also ordered a couple of fairy panels that I need immediately. So um, I'm gonna, yeah, wait for those to arrive and uh, get busy with the old Dremel. It's really grim and rainy out there. Anyway, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. We're out the van and uh, we're in the daylight. And it, to be honest with you, it's kind of looking better and better. Yes, there's a lot of gravel rash. This is a bit wobbly. That's broken. Um, I'm almost more concerned with just how dirty it is. <laughs> um, like, come on, guys. Come on. Look at all these flies and stuff. Anyway. So I'm gonna get the bucket out, the bucket and spade, and um, do a job on it. I think I'm gonna get, I think I can get it to look pretty good, just with a good old clean. Um, and then we can, once we've got all the dirt off, we can really see what we're dealing with. I think, you probably can't see this on the camera, let me try and really, see these tiny little dots? Where are they? There, there. So those are little, where the stone's gone, ping, 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 ping. But I reckon I can polish that out. And this is just, a lot of this is dirt. I think it looks a lot worse than it is. Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Showered off. And uh, it's looking even better. It's, it's amazing. Now I've got all the, um, crap off it's even better this is um it's going pretty well so far the wheels let's see if we can get some light in here so the wheels have come up real nice this is this i haven't even polished this yet this is just i've just cleaned it just used some literally bike wash so yeah i haven't come across any massive disappointment yet which is good very good all the both nose fairings are okay there's a tiny little tiny little stone chip there but that's pretty much it. Headlights are fine. I think and hope we're looking at a pretty good bargain, but let's not speak too soon. I'm gonna pull these panels off in a minute. I'm gonna dry it off and then, yeah, have a bit more of a deep dive, but I think we're, I think we're pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, well, this is fast forward a considerable period of time. Oh, sorry, it's an absolute mess in here at the moment. Um, I've got quite a few bikes that I'm trying to <laughs> put back together. But anyway, so the double R, I'll just whiz through a quick, a few quick things. So new mirror, back from BMW, easy job, no problem. I've had to get a few brackets and stuff, like this, this little bracket down here was all bent and smashed up. The good news is, so this is now, this, I got my mate to, um, Gary, thank you very much, to, to blend this in. Um, so this looks brand new now, this, this frame. If you remember, it was all sort of scuffed up and horrible around there. That's, that looks really good now. I'm gonna keep this panel in, it seems to be working at the moment. It's a bit scratched up, got some gravel rash, but um, I just wanna put it all back together. Here's the plan, I wanna put it all back together as it was, normal, OEM spec. <laughs> Make sure it rides in a straight line and then think about doing anything else to it that I'm gonna do, that's the plan. Um, I bought a brand new rear set thanks to BMW. Cars, he's a good mate and um, he sorted me out that. Exhaust, I'm just waiting for my mate Rixie to give me his OEM one because I gave him an Arrow exhaust a few years ago. Uh, here's the new fairing panel. I put the stickers on. I had to get a new one of these little plastic bits. 
And then, it, it, this has been quite annoying actually, and then just trying to find out what little clips and all this sort of stuff you need on the back. That's been, that's been the most boring bit of this whole process. Uh, got a new wing here, got some stickers. These, this, all these parts are from Vines BMW, so thank you very much to those guys. Uh, so I'm just gonna stick these stickers on, put it all back together, and I might be able to make it out for a ride, because everything else seems pretty good. Okay, so we're slowly getting there. New panel is on. Oh, stickers are on the wings. Uh, just getting it all lined up, and yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I bought a new round doll as well because the other one had scratches on it. She's looking good. Just need to um, see if I can find all the uh, bolts and stuff that I took out of it. Now we're on target. Right then, there we go. I think we're back together. I do have one little screw bolt missing, well, left over. But apart from that, it's all on, it all fits. Uh, I've had to just put this crappy exhaust back on, the damaged one, just so I can do a test ride tomorrow. But everything else is back on, it's working. So um, yeah, let's go and ride it, hopefully. It's gonna go down the road in a straight line. Fingers crossed. All right, thanks guys. Great one, nice, yeah. Okay, uh, this is a couple of days later. I got it all ready, went out for a test ride. Um, all the engine, everything sweet, nice, but the fork, the triple clamp was, it just wasn't quite straight. It was slightly bent round. So I'm now just, I've now just taken the fork out, just to double check, and it's all absolutely plumb straight and good, which is uh, a relief because these things ain't cheap. So I think the impact had just sort of jolted it a bit. So hopefully when it all goes back together, uh, it will be nice and square. I've loosened off the other one as well, so it's all free. Put the wheel back in and it should align itself. Oh, and the other thing, I don't know why, but the, I, this is this is flapping around. I've obviously not put something in there correctly, but anyway. And actually, while it's here, I've given it a nice, a nice clean up as well. So, all these things need to be done. Hmm. Right, let's bung this fork back in. Right, well that seems to have done the trick. So now, she's absolutely bang on. I've even had the, uh, the calipers out, just to measure the centre of the forks to, the, uh, to a common point. And uh, yeah, it's much better. Well then guys, um, she's ready. I think she's ready. I think she's, um, she's ready for a first ride, which we're gonna go and do shortly. Now the weather is nice and sunny. Um, I can't, honestly, I can't remember where we got to last time, but I think the forks were out and yeah, they went back in. I took it back to BMW. They recalibrated because it was the sensor thing. Anyway, I'll go into it when we're riding, but it's, um, it's here. Got another replacement exhaust. That's my blurry finger. Uh, all the panels are looking delicieux. And there's a bit of road muck on there because it's just winter, unfortunately, so it's just covered in shit. Um, I haven't really detailed this yet. I'll do a studio shoot once it's all um, confirmed running properly. So yeah, I mean, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're pretty much, I think we're ready to go, aren't we? Are we? Are we ready to go? Look how good it looks. Look how bloody good it looks. Um, I can't remember what else we've done to it. Oh yeah, so I've got the um, uh, Wichima Flip uh, brake lever guard, that's on there now. Um, there's a tiny bit of speckling, which you might be able to just detect here. But other than that, it's absolutely fine, and I think Again, we'll go more into it when we're riding, but I don't think it's worth changing those panels. Um, and again, I could probably put a GB Racing cover on this side to hide some of that. But I don't. Again, I don't know quite what I'm going to do with this bike yet. So I think it's it's fair enough if a, if a new purchaser wants to buy it, they need to see if there are, is any little speckly bits of damage. Big lorry. Uh, but yeah, other than that, all the uh, wheels are looking nice, exhaust nice, rear sets are on, and uh, it's generally looking really bloody nice. So look, let's go for a ride and I can talk through some other stuff. All right, great, bye. <laughs> Quick cat.
camera swap. Uh, these are box fresh gloves. Let's get these bad boys on. What is this? I guess this is a little chat summary. We'll go for a ride on the bike, make sure it's all okay. It's obviously not going to be a uh, particularly rapid ride to yet today because it's absolutely bloody freezing. Okay, right, starts. That's a good, that's a good sign. Ooh, makes my uh, perineum tingle. I did have a bit of a warm, warm up earlier. Oh look, hill start control. That works. Let's just wait for the cold start to chill out. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello, darling. So yeah, this is really just a sort of a uh, a very basic shakedown. So don't expect, if you want wheelies and skids and shit, go somewhere else, because that ain't going to happen here. Well, wheelies won't happen here anyway, because I can't do it. Not very well anyway. But yeah, it works. Yay! There's obviously a lot of electronics on this. Uh, and in fact, one of the issues when I took the forks out, there's a little potentiometer down here that when I adjusted them, it, it, the, the bike knew that the forks had been out, so I had to take it back to BMW to get it reset, which is fine. It's all done. It's all good. Whee! So what do we do with this bike now? That's the that's the next question. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how well this video will be received. Um, I mean, I'm happy. I just it was like a big Lego set for me. This I got a good deal on a bike. I thought, yeah, I can fix that. Had a play with it. Put some stuff on it. Really enjoyed the process. It was pretty simple job to be fair in the end. Um, but it could have been a whole lot more complicated. But I think I was pretty lucky. So here we go then. Uh, there's no warning signs, there's no fluid coming out of it that I can see, there's no smells, there's no funny noises, so I think we are, um, I think we're good to go. I think she's in perfect mechanical health. health. Um, there's a couple of little things that if you were being really anal about the bike you could change, but there's a tiny little graze on that brake lever, so small you wouldn't even notice it, probably a marker pen had sorted it out, and there's a couple of little speckles on this black plastic chittery here um, and a couple of little 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 stone pings on the swing arm but pff, it's not really worth going through the extra cost and expense to fix those bits so and also because I'm not I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this bike there is one very liberating thing about having a bike that's already had its had its drama if you like had its accident in the I, I can, I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about this now. If I keep it, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I can, I could do put 30,000 miles on this. I got it for a great price. I fixed it up. It's had its trauma, as I said. I could do track days on it. I can commute on it. I could probably tour Europe on it, and not worry that there's always oh, a little, someone a little scratch on my little stone chip on the front nose. Like, just don't worry about it. Um, and that's actually really quite a liberating experience to have on a, a bike, especially such a awesome super bike as this so that's one option for me is just to keep it use the shit out of it um, and go on some adventures the second option is to sell it there's a lot of money tied up on this I think they're probably brand new these are about 23,000 pounds in the UK uh, this has got about two and a half thousand miles on it so if it wasn't dropped this would probably retail at about 18, 19, um, but I reckon because it's, I'm, I'm, I'm honest, like if I did sell it, I would show them this video and this whole process. Um, it's probably 16 and a half, something like that. Take 1,500 quid, two, and two grand off for, um, for, the, for the drop. Even though this is, it's not a cat D or anything, it's all obviously, as you can see, mechanically perfect. Um, some people are funny though, aren't they? But yeah, so, so that's another option, or when I was building this back, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get carbon fiber parts. Maybe I'll get this, maybe I'll get that. Oh, maybe I'll paint the parts rather than getting the standard ones. And I did come up with a load of really nice paint schemes. One in particular, which is absolutely delicious. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you reckon? What should I do? What should I do with it? Or do I bank the money and then do a new project? Sky's the limit, eh? Anyway. Oh, look, this is, by the way, oh, yeah, look, it's the caffeine machine. It's the new one. Is it? It's just been bought. So that's Lumi's Cafe over there. Wicked, they've already got the pictures up. It's going to be so good. I mean, no offence to Lumi's, but I'm so happy that I can get a good coffee. 
from there. What's going on? What's going down in the down in the Lumi's hood, eh? Boy, boy, boys, 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 boys. Uh, nothing. Let's just. I can't wait to go to caffeine the machine. I'm gonna go back and have another look at it. Right. Uh, I will. See you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Right. Bye. Whoa.